frilliest part you want to marry me next, Belinda? Yes, Lord Mayor. Then prove yourself worthy. Travel around the world in 80 days. Impossible! We shall do it. And bet your 20,000 pounds you can't hit the bed. Around the world in 80 days. Pass by two. So far, me marry Belinda Mays. Pass by two. Hit the come down. Yes, Lord Mayor. At your service. Stop Bob from travelling around the world in 80 days. I must win that bet. Bob may fail because of fix. I let Bob mix his tricks, his tricks. Around the world with Pasta 2. Oh, Phileas, do be careful. My uncle is sending this man named Fix to stop you. Don't you worry, mademoiselle. Ah, as his companion shall watch out for Monsieur Pete. Around the world in 80 days, so fog, they very blind maze. Around the world with Pasta 2. Sit down and have some breakfast. But, but you do not understand, Monsieur Fogg. There will be no stagecoach leaving San Francisco today. See what this newspaper headline says. Holiday today. Engineer Jones leaves today carrying golden spike for grand opening of Transcontinental Railroad. All business in San Francisco will be closed. So you see, the stagecoach will not run. We cannot leave for the east, so we will lose a whole day in our race around the world. Perhaps not, my boy. Remember, don't let your thoughts get in a rut. The knife which spreads may also cut. But what does that mean? It means that although Engineer Jones' trip has upset our plans, he can help us by letting us ride on his train when he takes the Golden Spike to Promontory Point. Promontory Point? That's where they will have the ceremony, driving the Golden Spike to join the tracks from the east with the tracks from the west. Now, after that ceremony, we can continue our journey by railroad. The first passengers to travel across America by train. Parlez-vous, that is wonderful! Now I know what it means when you say, don't let your thoughts get in a rut. The knife which spreads may also cut. I think I will purchase this knife as a souvenir to remember how it helped to save the day. It hasn't saved the day yet, Mr. Fix. You can say that again, Mr. Fix. First, I have to get the engineer to take them along with the golden spike. You have a plan, Mr. Fix. Do I have a plan? Do I have a plan? <laughs> I'll fix that fog! Very well, monsieur. For our journey by train, what shall we pack in the bag? Hmm, let me see. If on a journey like this, I think we should take... This bottle of soda water. Very well. A bottle of soda water. A small axe and a pot of glue. One small axe and a pot of glue. This wanted poster I picked up downstairs. A wanted poster, monsieur? Wanted. Dangerous Dan Dolden. $50,000 reward. But why should we need such a thing? And of course. The knife you purchased from the restaurant. Of course! We must not forget the knife! And the picture you carry of Mr. Fix. Howdy. What can I do for you? No, 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 Engineer Jones. It's what I can do for you. I represent the International Clock Club. And you have just won our award for keeping your train on time. An award? Absolutely. <coughs> An all-expense-paid trip to Dodge City by way of this handsome horse and wagon. Here you are, Engineer Jones. One hundred dollars for expenses. Don't worry about the thing. Your replacement has already been hired. Get up, horse. <laughs> Beautiful, Mr. Fix. Now let's see him try and run that train without the engineer. Look, monsieur, in front of the station, an angry crowd. 
What is it? What's wrong here? I'll tell you what's wrong. Engineer Jones is gone. And his neighbors say he rode off hours ago because the man in the derby gave him a free vacation. Fix tricks, fix tricks. What does he mean? I'm afraid you've lost your engineer because a man named Fix is trying to stop us from getting to Promontory Point. You must get another engineer. Impossible. Nobody but Jones would be fool enough to carry the golden spike that will join the railroad from east to west. Why not? Because the engines may try to stop the train. And the outlaws may try to rob it. Hey, the engine boiler is so old it may blow up at any minute. We will drive the train. You? you? Yes. I'm a qualified engineer. And I feel responsible for what has happened to you. I will become your engineer. But, monsieur, the Indians, the outlaws, the boiler! Right, right, right! Just wait, Phileas Fogg. You've got quite a trip in store for you. Here's the golden strike. Be sure to get the promontory point. You can trust us, monsieur. My boy, we're on our way across the country. You know, Mr. Fogg, I have never seen real Indians. Do you think they might uh, oops, try to stop us? Mm -hmm. ah. Listen to me, brave brothers. Soon comes train carrying golden spike. Oh. That golden spike will join the railroad from the east with the railroad from the west. <laughs> and then, many people come. Men, women, kids, dogs, cats. Filling up all your land. Crowding up your prairies. Derby head, make much sense. We must stop that train with golden spots. Are you with me? <laughs> It was very difficult, my boy. Snowstorms, landslides, canyons to cross, tunnels to dig. It took six years of back-wracking labor. But there is no stopping Americans. Look, monsieur, on the tracks! Indians, my child. We can't let them stop us. Look out, monsieur, Ford. They are shooting arrows at us. Duck down, my boy. But get some more wood inside that engine. We'll need a good head of steam to outrun those riders. Too fast for horses, but we can head off by going over this hill. Big curve up ahead in tracks. Let's go. Look, monsieur, they are giving up. I'm afraid not, my boy. They're trying to head us off. See that curve coming? Then we must go faster. Too dangerous. This old boiler might blow up on us. Now we'll have to stop and try to talk our way out of this. But, monsieur. What is it you want? You carry golden spike to join tracks for Iron Horse. We not like Iron Horse going across our land. Take golden spike to stop railroad. Give or we take. That voice, monsieur, it is familiar. I know, Passepartout. And I never saw an Indian with a moustache. Give me the bottle of soda water. But soda water is only good for making soda. Remember, Passepartout, don't let your thoughts get in a rut. The knife that spreads may also cut. You mean there is something else to do with a bottle of soda water? Precisely. If you want that golden spike, Chief, you'll have to come closer. Ugh! Chief, come closer and take golden spike. You're taking candy from a baby, Mr. Fix. Ugh! Now! Hand over. Here you are. Look, my friends. This man is not an...
an Indian. The water wash away color. This man freak us. After him. Now it's all a mistake. Help! <laughs> I do not believe Monsieur Fix will bother us again. Don't be too sure, my boy. <laughs> Mr. Fix. But what now, Mr. Fix? If you don't stop Phileas Fogg, he'll reach Promontory Point and give them the golden spike. I'll join up the railroads and Fogg will be on his way to the East Coast. Do you have a plan, Mr. Fix? I have a plan, Mr. Fix. Either my voice is changing or else... Or else you're about to be robbed, Mr. Fix. Give us all your gold or we'll give you a taste of lead. No, no, don't harm me. Then give us all your gold. Because I don't have any gold. Too bad, then. We'll just have to... Wait, wait. I know where you can get some gold. I know where you can get some without any trouble. Start talking, Mr. Fix. <laughs> This golden spike must be worth a great deal of money, monsieur. And that means the ceremony at Promontory Point must be very important. Yes, indeed, my boy. The United States is a very large country, and it has only recently been divided by a great civil war. A railroad from one end of the country to the other will be a big help in pulling the country together, making it well and strong. So the people can get to know each other better? Precisely. Gotcha. Look, monsieur, robbers, bandits. Quick, my boy, put in more wood. The knife which spreads may also cut. There is another way to use the wanted poster? Precisely. Take the picture you carry of Mr. Fix and glue it on the wanted poster. Hurt the chatter up there and hand over the golden spike. We're getting it. But may I ask you, how much money do you think you could possibly get for that golden spike? Never mind about it. Shut up, I'll do the talking. We figured to get at least a thousand for it. Why? Because there may be a way for you to make 50 times that amount. Uh, $50,000? Now, take a look at this. Now, hold on here. I... Shut up. Let's see that. What a dangerous Dan Dalton $50,000 reward. But 
champ! That's that's dangerous Dan Dalton, and there's fifty thousand dollar reward for it. Fifty thousand dollars? No, no, it's a lie. Grab him! That was a very clever trick, Monsieur. You saved the golden spike. But we haven't reached promontory point yet, my boy. Come on, let's get this train back on the main track. Dynamite, Mr. Fix. That ought to scare off these blooming crooks. <coughs> One stick of this explosive stuff, and they don't stay around to ask questions. Hmm. Got an idea, Mr. Fix. Got an idea, got an idea. I'll fix that fog. Look at that. Shaped just like a spike. And now, look at this gold paint, and whoopee, a golden spike. It is indeed, my boy. More than three and a half million square miles of land. <laughs> we boost this rock, Mr. Fix. It rolls down the hill and stops Fog's train. Then I put my new plan into action. That sound, monsieur. It must be thunder. We may be in for a storm. It can't be thunder, Francois, too. It seems to be getting much louder. Then what could it be? A rock, monsieur! A giant rock! It is going to crash onto the track! Stop the train! Parlez-vous! That was too close for comfort! Don't breathe easy, you clay! Just put your hands high over your head! Fix tricks! Fix tricks! Why are you taking that golden spike? Oh, I'm not Phileas Fogg. Here you are. You can keep the spot. I'll just take this fancy case for it. Why are you doing this? Because I've got my own golden spot. This one. A lovely stick of dynamite and painted gold. You are taking that to the ceremony? That's the idea. And when they hammer it into place to join the tracks, pure bluey. There won't be any tracks from the west joined to the tracks from the east. And I won't have to worry about Phileas Fogg getting around the world in 80 days. There's much more at stake than that, Fix. The ceremony at Promontory Point is important for this entire country. That's their problem. Now, if you don't mind, I'll also take what wood you've got left. I wouldn't care to have you try and follow me. <laughs> what can we do, monsieur? Hurry. First, we have to get this rock off the tracks. There are not even trees nearby, Monsieur Fogg. There is no way to get fuel. Don't let your thoughts get in a rut. The knife that spreads may also cut. Look at this wooden car behind the engine. You mean we could use this car? Precisely. Get that axe from the bag and start chopping. Of course, Monsieur. Fix has not beaten us yet. <laughs> Careful with that boiler, my boy. She might explode. But we must catch Fix before he reaches Robinson's point. I can see the crowd up ahead at the point, monsieur. We must not stop. But check that gauge, Passepartout. Too. It's far past danger. But there is not much farther to go, and we must not stop now. But the gauge. Look out. Here you are, Governor. A golden spike. Here it is, my friends, the golden spike. All this, my good fellow, and now the final ceremony to join the tracks from the west with the tracks from the east. Look, monsieur, we are too late. They are about to strike the stick of dynamite. The knife, Passepartout, quickly. The souvenir knife from the bag. Hey, monsieur. <laughs> Somebody cut the golden spike. But that's impossible. You can't cut a spike with a knife, even a golden one. 
Uh, there's no spike ever. That's a stick of dynamite painted to look like a spike. Here's the real golden spike, Governor. Are you the man who saved us from that dynamite? Yes, monsieur. He saved you with this small souvenir knife, which proved don't let your thoughts get in a rut. The knife which spreads may also cut. Bravo, my friend. What can we do to repay you? I was glad to help. We have to go around the world in 80 days, so fog may marry bleed the maid. And so you shall. I'll give you my private railroad car and a clear track all the way to New York. Parlez-vous! We will be back on schedule! At first, sir, you must do the honors. You have earned it. You drive in the Golden Spike. It will be a great pleasure. So Fog may marry Brenda Mace. Fog for two. Fog may fail because of fix. Unless Fog nicks his fix his tricks. Around the world with Fog for two. Around the world in 80 days. So Fog may marry Brenda Mace. Around the world with 